Oh, hey, I'm Levi. I'm a creative, an explorer, and an adventure seeker at heart. Welcome to Utah! A few years ago, I set out on a mission, and that was to find the most unique, inspiring, and downright amazing one night stays in America. And now I'm taking you along for the ride. This is Tiny BNB. Welcome to Mod Cabins. Let's go see what this tiny house has to offer. Welcome to Mod Cabins located in Asheville, North Carolina. There are three cabins total on this property and they are all very beautiful and I'm going to be giving you a tour of this first one right behind me. It is a tiny house cabin with a Scandinavian uh, inspiration. It has everything from an open air deck to a really cool retro fireplace and a hot tub and a very beautiful interior. But along with the tour, you book your spot and you pull up to your first cabin and it is this very beautiful black exterior and this this huge segment right here in the front is your outdoor patio space and it just looks so phenomenal from the outside. This is a very Scandinavian inspiration and it looks great. You walk up on your property and you have a fire pit over here on this right side right next to your cabin and then we can just take a step up into your cabin space into your porch area and see what is on there. On your decking space, you have this really cool outdoor dining table and a couch that faces your retro outdoor fireplace. And this is one of my favorite spots of this property. You can sit out here, rain or shine, and feel really cozy, especially with the wood they used. I love the design of this whole patio space. So definitely a great spot to hang out. Once you're done hanging out in this uh, porch area, if it's a nice evening or something, we can walk down this area and go to the hot tub space. This hot tub space is totally private with this fence all around it, and it's just a hot tub for two, and you can't go wrong with having a hot tub at your Airbnb. And then there's even a hammock out here to chill out and really soak in all the beautiful nature around you because you are surrounded by some beautiful beautiful scenery. And there's even a cornhole board out here for you to play. So there's lots of stuff on the outside to do. And now let's go check out the inside and see what it has to offer. When you walk inside, it is a very open and airy concept. I love it so much. You instantly feel the coziness of this place. On this right side is your living area. It is this huge open area. You have your couch right here in the middle a really nice coffee table and of course you cannot miss the huge window over here on the left side that looks out into the back of your property into the nature they've even set it up as a sitting area so you can sit here enjoy your coffee get some really cool photos uh, in this window and it looks so good and the natural light that comes in here is just phenomenal and underneath they have some storage some books some games to enjoy and this is just a nice area. And on the other side of this actually, something unique about these cabins is these they have these shelves where they sell some items. You can buy some snacks or some drinks or even some mugs. They have toboggans and gloves. This is a pretty cool aspect to this cabin. So they offer stuff that you might be missing yourself. kitchen is on the other side of this area. You can walk over here and it is a very simple but beautiful kitchen. On this left side, you have all your cabinet space. I love the green cabinets with these leather handles. That is one of my favorite design aspects for cabinets. And you got your sink, of course, your wood countertop. You have a hot plate up here to cook anything. And then you have your coffee supplies over here on the right side. They provide all the coffee you would need. And they even provide a s'mores kit for that outdoor fireplace to have and enjoy. Above all of this is more cabinets. You got some open shelves with your dishes and a really nice 
white microwave that matches your Smeg refrigerator. This vintage looking refrigerator is always a jaw dropper in any kitchen. So I love how they included that in this kitchen. But that is it for this kitchen and living room space. The ceilings are super tall and that is because there is a loft space above this kitchen, but we will get to that in a bit. Let's continue down this hallway and check out your bathroom and bedroom. This first door on the right is your full bathroom. This is a beautiful, beautiful bathroom with a really nice white vanity, your mirror, and then of course the tiled walk-in shower over here on the right. They used the white subway tile, and this is just a bright bathroom. It's clean and it fits really well with the design of this Airbnb tiny house. We'll continue walking back and this is your master bedroom space. You have an entire bedroom over here on the right side of this. Your bed is basically levitating and tucked into this nook over here on the right side and underneath you have tons of storage to put all your luggage and everything and they have really cool nightstand over here continuing with the leather handles to pull out these drawers for additional storage and you're probably wondering what's behind this huge door when you open it up this reveals your washer and dryer space which is awesome to have in this tiny house cabin and even a couple hangers if you need to hang some clothes here and this is also where a full length mirror is at to get ready but this is all of your bedroom space i love the wood design in here and just how airy and cozy it feels now one of the coolest things about this cabin is your loft area and the way to get up it so they have a hidden ladder right here in the hallway use the stick to pull down your ladder and then the steps all unfold and take up your hallway and this looks really cool for one but i love how it is compact and easy to hide to make it more open in here if you're not even using the loft you don't have to worry about the ladder so definitely a plus for this tiny house and like i said it looks cool but you can climb up this ladder and then you reach your loft space this is a pretty spacious loft i would say you can't totally stand in here but you're not really crunched or anything like that but up here is some more seating options and a TV actually. So on those nights that you're staying in, you can come up here and get cozy, watch some Netflix or some YouTube videos and really enjoy your time up here. So the spot has potential to sleep up to four people which is awesome for a tiny house. So that is everything that this tiny house cabin has to offer. One of my favorite tiny houses that I've been to. I love this one a lot. I love everything about it. But now let's head over and walk to the other cabin and see what it has to offer. We are at this two-story tiny house at Mod Cabins. It's right behind me. Let's go check it out. to your spot you'll pull up and you have the back cabin which feels even more luxurious and immediately you notice that it is huge and it doesn't really look like a tiny house on the outside but they just did a really good job at making it look and feel big when the floor plan is pretty small and as similar to the last ones have shown they have the open air deck right here basically attached to the tiny house part right here and this just looks phenomenal among the trees everywhere the landscaping is done really well i love how many trees there are on your property and just surrounded by the greenery or even surrounded by a running creek which is awesome so you can listen to that and really enjoy your time here but we'll walk up to your tiny house and you got a couple paths to choose from. We'll walk around the air deck and head around to the back part of your property first. You have an outdoor fire pit area here and an outdoor dining table and we'll continue along. You even have a hammock out here and your tiny house blocks this section off from everybody else. So it feels very private and secluded. And then to continue along, you have a hot tub back here with a fence built around it. And this is just the perfect addition to your tiny house. You cannot go wrong with a hot tub here. And I love all the outdoor amenities they have. They even have a couple games out here as well. The surrounding property and the outdoor amenities are incredible. Now let's head up to the open air deck and see what is all on that. I love the wood design of this deck. It feels so cozy and everything it has to offer. On the left, you have another outdoor dining table. So there are several options to choose from to sit at your Airbnb or eat. It is incredible. Then the best part over here is your fireplace. I think you have the couch right here and then your retro looking fireplace. They provide wood for you. It was so cozy sitting here. And just the aesthetic of all of this is something to really experience. So 
definitely an awesome addition. And then a little different from the other cabins, this deck continues around so we can wrap around right back here and you have an outdoor swinging day bed, which I loved. You can sit out here and this overlooks uh, the back part of your property. And this is just a fun thing to have uh, at your Airbnb. All of this deck space is awesome. There's plenty of space if you happen to bring uh, more people because this tiny house sleeps a lot. So with that being said, let's head inside and see what this tiny house has to offer. You walk inside and it is huge in here. The ceilings go way, way up and everything is pretty bright as well. Uh, you have your living space over here on the right side. You have a couch, you know, a coffee table, a chair and a TV. Pretty minimal uh, living space, I would say, but it is nice that you have these different types of seating options and even a TV right here to enjoy some Netflix. And then on the other side, this gives you a great look at the rest of your tiny house from the kitchen to the loft upstairs. It is so cool. So in this kitchen space, you actually have a island right here in the middle that can seat four people, which is really cool to have in a tiny house. And then you have a fridge right here. We'll continue along with the, the countertop. You have a built-in hot plate and you even have an oven right under that, which is unique to this tiny house compared to the others. And the black cabinets look really good. You got some floating shelves above. This is a pretty nice and spacious kitchen for uh, what this place is. And then right across from that is your ladder that goes up into your loft space. Let's climb up this ladder and check that out. This loft space is perfect for the additional guests you have or even kids. You have two beds up here and then just a huge area to do whatever you want in. They even have a table with games right here. So this loft area is huge. You can almost stand up here, but not quite. And of course this overlooks uh, your kitchen and living room space. We'll head back down the ladder and head into the hallway right behind it. You walk down this hallway, the first door on your left is your bathroom space. This is a huge bathroom. On the left side, you have your vanity, and then right behind that, you have your huge tiled walk-in shower. I love the subway tile that they use here. And then behind this wood wall right here, they have your washer and dryer in here. And then on the other side of that, some hangers and your towels. So they use this bathroom space really well, I think, and it is large. You don't feel tiny at all in here. We'll take a step out of that and head down to your master bedroom area. You walk in here and you have your huge bed right here in the middle. You got nice stands on each side. This is just a spacious bedroom to get ready in. There's even a closet behind this sliding door right here. You can hang clothes or put your luggage here. And there's nothing tiny about this bedroom. They used it very well, I think. So with everything they did with this tiny house, I think they nailed it. And this is just a really fun spot to come and enjoy it. They even have this huge open area with your tree swing right here. So it's just another addition to your tiny house. I mean, I can't see how this space could get any better. 